The two men jailed for the racist murder of Stephen Lawrence have lost the first round of their attempt to challenge their convictions. Gary Dobson and David Norris were given life sentences in January for the killing of the teenager nearly 20 years ago. Catherine Carpenter has more on this and uh, joins me now. So uh, another twist in this long-running case. Yes, this case has been complicated and controversial at times ever since Stephen Lawrence was killed back in 1993. He was just 18 years old when he was stabbed to death by a gang of white youths at a bus stop in Eltham. Now, shortly after the incident, five young men were arrested, but it wasn't until January this year that two of them were convicted of murder. Gary Dobson, seen here on the left, and David Norris were eventually convicted of the murder after fresh forensic evidence emerged. Now at the time the trial judge described this crime as a murder which had scarred the conscience of the nation. He sentenced Dobson to just over 15 years in prison and gave Norris 14 years and three months. But now the pair have decided to appeal. Norris claims for example that um, evidence used, surveillance evidence used against him was unfair and so um, now they have asked a, a judge to give them permission to appeal but today he refused to do that. Uh, is there another step in this process? Yes, uh, as we've said, this is just the first stage in a potential appeals process. So they could now go back to the Court of Appeal and ask a panel of judges for permission to appeal. We don't yet know if they're going to do that. What we shouldn't forget, though, is that though there have been these two convictions, um, the police do still consider this an open case, and they are still considering whether other members of that gang might be tried for murder. OK, Catherine, thank you for that update.